Ah, pleasant. I am clear. I am the Andromeda that you speak of. Welcome, clear. Clear, yes, that's good. Clear. Okay, welcome. It does not really matter. Welcome. Thank you. To Earth. I have been here once before. Um, do you have a message for us, or? How would you like to speak to somebody? The Andromeda people are very excited about your ascension. We are within the solar system that you speak of that is yours. We do have, we cannot get out because the blue aliens have blocked it off completely. However, we are not un, uh, unhappy about this. We are very happy that things are going well for you. Your energies are changing, and your mother Gaia Earth, as you call her, is going through many changes right now. And so that we are helping with the energy that everyone is giving to Mother Earth to bring her into a co a great a congealment of energy, if that is a good word. We are trying to balance the energies within her and they're still balancing at this time but the, the old energies and the new energies are coming together and they're still working together many have felt distractions and distress and and good things also as well but these energies will finally come together in a way that is very compatible and make your lives easier and your Reiki stronger and your understandings of things much greater. So your fourth dimensional energies are now being brought into a greater ah, brightness. Is there questions? Um. So how can we help Mother Gaia to also help balance those energies? Well, you give your energy to Mother Gaia. You give your thought processes and your meditations to her, and she will benefit from all these things, and it will help calm these energies and put them in the right structure because they must fit together because they have been separated. Do you understand that? They were separated and now they must come together in a way that benefits her and all humanity. Okay, thank you. Anyone that it's with Jim, I wish to ask a question. Tell us, if you could, a little bit more about this barrier that I believe was completed in September um, of the light around us. It's it's such a powerful and, and positive that, situation. Yes, the light comes from you, not from anyone else. It was not a barrier. It was a more of a non-barrier. Um, it comes from your people. If I am speaking of the right light that you that make that is making your Earth look more like a sun than a planet, the reflections are much greater. The illumination from your enlightenment, and as you are growing as an enlightened civilization, you are looking brighter. Is that what you are speaking of? I'm talking about the barrier so that obviously it keeps the dark from getting out. Ah, the barrier of the solar system. All edge. around the solar system. Yes. That Understood. Was a positive reason. Yes, because it keeps those in that are guilty and brings no more in for right now. Let me explain why it was done. It was not done to really stop communications or stop no. people from coming no. in or out. It was done because your earth needs to balance mm -hmm. and 
with many coming in and out of the solar system, the energies would be disturbed. And that energy field needs to come together in a peaceful way, if possible. And therefore, whenever we have seen that there was much movement in the solar system, this was disturbing Mother Earth's our compatibility with the energies. So therefore, the blue avians closed off the solar system at around Pluto area, even though there is more to your solar system to, than that. But they cut it off there because they needed less movement in the solar system and less movement around your planet. So therefore, it is working. Thank you for that. 66% less motion is helping Mother Gaia to create the right bond with the energies. Thank you very Thank much. You. Brooke? You're welcome. Brooke. Hi. My name Hello. is Brooke. I don't think I've ever met an Andromedan before, so I'm very excited to meet you. Yes, thank you. Um, so I have a question, and um, it's, I guess I'm asking you because I'm not sure who to ask. Basically, I had my first download ever, and it was a large blue and white iridescent light box, and I couldn't get it open. And then when I finally did, what I found inside was a purple, a light purple light body that I was supposed to integrate into myself. And I yep. did successfully, but I feel like it keeps, the integration didn't take, and I'm not even sure what it is. And you seem very good with energy, so I wanted to see if you might have yes. any idea what that is. The reason it is not integrated is because you are doubtful of what it is. So I will let you know that it is a violet flame. A violet flame is very powerful and healing and a wonderful thing. Um, I will, there is many explanations of how it can be with you, but just accept it because it is something that will give you healing and clarity. And you are meant to be someone of importance with this violet flame. It is also attached to Holy Fire Reiki because Holy Fire Reiki has now changed into a greater and much more successful healing device, which you will be able to do, but not in the same way others will be able to do it. You see, your voice will be the healing aspect and not your hands. Interesting. My voice? Like speaking or singing or do you have any? I'm sorry, yes. I didn't mean to you will be up. able it's just... to heal people with laughter, with your thoughts, and with your great experiential thought process. Oh, okay. Jim through somebody else. I don't remember who, but they said I was supposed to be a stand-up comedian. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, thank you so much. Through laughter, you will bring laughter, and that is a healing pr property. However, it will be a greater healing than with most laughter. You will actually let them know that with their laughter at the beginning of your performance, as they laugh, they will be releasing things from their system that uh, does not belong there. And this is healing. You will be able to show them part of their self that needs to be released. And with that knowledge, they will be able to release it and let it go. I am so excited to hear that, and thank you so much. It is a very unusual thing. Yes, it is.
Roy, did you have a question? Yeah, greetings, dear one. Welcome to our Hikra webinar. Um, before you came through, our beautiful Takur said that you were a spirit guide of somebody that is yeah. now. Would you able to be able to reveal this for this person? She is right here. <laughs> okay. Is that all you're going to give us? It is up to her to let you go. <laughs> of course. I respect that. Thank you. That was just my uh, bit of curiosity there. Thank you. And blessings to you. Um, would you be able to give us maybe a description of what you look like, um, just so we can get a bit of a visual idea? Well, I represent my people to her and to you. And I have, I am from the part of Andromeda that has not been destroyed by the collision of galaxies. And so, therefore, I am what I looked like on Andromeda was sort of humanoid, but I do not have humanoid features. I have three eyes instead of two, but it, that is only because our atmosphere is very dim. We have it very dim, and so in order to be able to see very well, we use three different eyes for different <laughs> spectrums of light. We can see into the dark, we can see into the glow of the light, or we can see the dusk-like areas. And so we have developed the three eyes for visual acuity, because there are many creatures on our planet from far in the past that have developed also intellectual abilities, but they are still dangerous. Oh, that's 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 awesome. Um, how are your eyes arranged? Is it in a in a row, or is it in a column, or is it random on your head? I am sorry, I did not catch that. Someone is in pain. Oh dear. Ask the question again. Right, I was inquiring about your. I'm. I'm fascinated by the idea of your, your eyesight and your vision. Um, I've, we have our eyes that are level, one, one to each other, as you may know. I wanted to know how are your three eyes arranged exactly? One is on the chin, and two are where your eyes are, but the chin is an area that is very protected. So therefore, right here in the chin area, is the th is our third eye because our spiritual eye is on the forehead just as you are. So you have a pineal gland as well, well, like a type of pineal gland, third eye, like we do as well. Yes. Correct. Okay. One moment. There is someone needing my assistance. Thank you. Thank of course. You. Where is the pain? Right here. One moment, please. It will not take long. Do you feel the heat? Is it helping at all? Yes. Sia Fuashwatsya Tishasha Wor Fushuha si su yakato to so so sotarato or a kapasa Yasha. Is that better? Yasha, sir. Is it lessening? 
Yes and no. Is it a spasm that you're having? Okay. I'm sorry, time it gets tight again. So we need to we need to move it. We need to get the muscle moving. Because it's it gets constricted. That is where the appendix That's what I'm wondering, the appendix and the, the gallbladder. Can you what the there is some Is there a, is there a gallbladder? There is some portion of an organ that is here that is gallbladder? I believe it appendix. Appendix? Appendix is the center. More center, yes. Gallbladder. Gallbladder. Appendix. There is one moment. Appendix. Let me receive energy from my people. <laughs> It was it a sudden attack? Yes. Please send the energy that you have in your hands to this individual named Angela. Okay. We will. Healing must happen soon. Breathe very deeply. Very deeply. All the way down to your toes. Breathe very deeply and calm yourself because that is part of the attack is that you are... Slowly. Yes, very good. Very slowly. There you go. In through your nose. Slowly. Yes, calming yourself will help. Concentrate on your breathing. Feel the air coming in. Feel only the air. In slowly. From the distance that I am. Slowly out of your mouth. Concentrate on your breath. Yes. Concentrate only on your breath. I'm bringing in others. Just feel the breath. Feel only the breath. Slowly. Much slower. Listen to the It will subside. It's gone down. It will subside and it is subsiding now. <laughs> Thank you for your help. The symbol of the Yoshunzis was helpful. Yes, but she still needs to seek medical attention. Yes. 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 There is something there. It is within an organ. I had part of my lung removed from that area. Down this area. But it's not in the lung. I do not see it, the lung. You see pancreas? I see... No, the pancreas was on the other side. Yeah, so... I think... I'm that seeing, you're telling me that <clears throat> it is either gallbladder or appendix. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. That's... Yeah. But we will move forward because it is calming down at this time. Yes. We will speak of this later. Is yeah. she nauseated? Is she nauseous? It's Are you nauseous? nauseous? No. Okay. Or pain in the back, yeah. No. No, it is in the front. It is the gallbladder or the appendix. Yes, the gallbladder can also cause pain and, and it can radiate, it can go shoot to the back. Yes. Yes, it's um, right back there. Yes, it would be the appendix yes. then. She definitely needs to go to the doctor. She has to go see we a doctor. We shall see yeah. something, yes. Okay. I'm sorry. I, I with this with this event, I think we should down. stop. Okay. If that is all right with you, I think I that's not, very wise. Yes. Yes. I yes. wish do not yes. wish to parry at this time and cause any <clears throat> further problems. 
If it's the appendix, it's smart to go to the hospital, so go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. I, I bid you adieu, and I will bring back this creature. Thank you. Thank you for helping her. Thank you. Um, we appreciate that, and uh, thank you for coming, and do come again. Thank you. And share with us. We appreciate it. Love to you. Love to you as well. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you. Much love. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Namaste. Eat. Namaste.